So these administrators and satraps went as a group to the king and said, May King Darius live forever. The royal administrators, prefects, satraps, advisors, and governors have all agreed that the king should issue an edict and enforce the decree that anyone who prays to any god or human being during the next 30 days except to you, your majesty, shall be thrown into the lion's den. Now, your majesty, issue the decree and put it in writing so that it cannot be altered, in accordance with the law of the Medes and Persians, which cannot be repealed. So, King Darius put the decree in writing. Now, when... Daniel learned that the decree had been published. He went home to his upstairs room, where the windows opened to, uh, towards Jerusalem. Three times a day, he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God, just as he had done before. Then these men went as a group and found Daniel praying and asking God for help. So they went to the king and spoke to him about his royal decree. They do not publish a decree that during the next 30 days, anyone who prays to any God or human being except to you, your majesty, will be thrown into the lion's den. The king answered that the Christians in accordance with the law of the Medes and Persians, which cannot be repelled. Then they said to the king, Daniel, who is one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to you, your majesty, or to the decree you put in writing. He still prays three times a day. When the king heard this, he was greatly distressed. He was determined to rescue Daniel and made every effort until sundown to save him. Then the men went as a group to King Darius and said to him, Remember, your majesty, that according to the law of the Medes and Persians, no decree or edict that the king issues can be changed. So the king gave the order and they brought Daniel and threw him in the lion's den. Then the king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you serve continually, rescue you. Greetings, guys. It is me here with a message of the kingdom of heaven. Uh, guys, so we are continuing, you know, uh, we were speaking about you know, uh, about the fact that, you know, the Israelites, they were actually secluded. Uh, they were given their own laws. In fact, uh, a Bible was actually a constitution for them, you understand, because there were laws there, and they were supposed to obey those laws, you know. But with us, because we live in a, in a democratic world, you know, we have our own laws, you know, we can quote from the Bible, you know, just like guys you can find in court, you find it that they swear by the Bible and I sit and I'm like, geez, they suck. You know, guys, there is really, really, really no need for any court to have a Bible day. Believe me when I tell you, there really, 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 really is no need. Because you see, these people don't belong to the kingdom of heaven. Why swear by something you don't belong to? Ah, oh, guys, people really, 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 really annoy me when they want to uh, rub shoulders with the best. You know, judges and lawyers, they, they're trying to rub uh, shoulders with God. And I sit and I'm like, damn, they can't even spell his name. They suck. Simple as that. You know, but guys, you know, we're not speaking about that here. It's just that hypocrisy, guys, is really, really, I, I hate, I, I hate hypocrisy. Now, guys, here, as we know that the Israelites were secluded, you know, just like the, um, the nation of the Muslim, most of the time they are usually secluded, you know, and have their Quran and what, what, and what not, you know. They only meet other races, you know, outside. And I'm pretty sure there are laws, you know, you know, on how they should deal with other, you know, religions and what, what, and what not. But you see with guys, with Jesus, because Jesus is not a religion, you know, the strange part is that even th those mis Muslims, guys, they came from Adam, who came from Jesus, who came from God. It's just a shame. You know, guys, when something is a shame, it's a shame. You know, and Satan will make sure that these people don't even hear the word of God. <laughs> you know, guys, it's not fun. I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm just thinking about the fact that even Muslims, guys, they came from Adam, who came from Jesus, who came from God. So Satan is not even allowing them to even hear, guys. Ah, Satan will not let his captives go home. Mm. Nevertheless, guys, I'm not speaking about Muslims. Eh? <laughs> they are human beings who just really need to hear about the real God. That's all. Nevertheless, guys, they are secluded. You know, they live in these places where they is just a Muslim. Uh, you know, um, uh, I, I don't know how to call it. You know, understand? But they are secluded. You know, so the Israelites were also like that. But now, because Jesus, we all came from Jesus. Jesus did not give the blood to the Jews. 
because it's not the Jews only who came from Adam. We all came from Adam, who came from Jesus, who came from God. So the blood is for all of us. You understand? So Jesus is like, well, my people are scattered throughout the earth. You know, my seed, my sheep, even those spiritually dead are scattered throughout the earth. You understand? So I want you Israelites, you Jews to go to the ends of the earth, you know, and get them, you know, and preach this message to them. So guys, we are dispersed. You understand? We are scattered all over the world. You understand? And by doing so, I don't know whether it was a good thing or a bad thing. Well, it depends how you look at it. You know, it's good because the message was able to get to all of us, you know, because we all need to hear from Jesus because we all came from Adam, who came from Jesus, who came from God, you understand? So it was a good thing, you understand? But you look at what happened because even those who are saved, because they are mingled together with people who are not saved, People are now trying to impress even those who are now guys who are not saved. So now when you don't belong to the kingdom of heaven, yet you are trying to impress a person who uh, doesn't belong. You know, guys, what I mean? Guys, when you belong to the kingdom of heaven and you try to impress a person who doesn't belong to the kingdom of heaven, do you know what happens? You will have to do things that will please them, meaning you will have to uh, compromise the word of the kingdom of heaven in order for that person you know to call you my dog you know my man you know guys because you want these people to be impressed by you guess what you are as guys you are actually asking satan to be impressed by you you will obviously have to do what satan wants in order to impress these people so while well, it's a good thing that we are scattered about you understand we are not secluded and living in one place it's a good thing because Jesus has his sheep all over the world. But the bad thing is that because there are so many wolves who pretend to be sheep, you understand? They are now causing havoc in a, you know, within the body of Christ. So you find that even those who really mean well now need to impress the world. And by doing so, you guys, I don't know if you understand, they are losing Jesus. So Daniel here, that guy loved Jesus. In fact, daily at the time, because it was daily was dealing with them, even though Jesus was the one who was speaking. Guys, we don't know how they did it. We only know that Jesus has always been the word of our Father. But how they did it, we don't know. In fact, we don't even have to know. As long as we understand that daily and Jesus, they are one. Simple. You know, so Daniel loved them so much that he just wanted to pray. He wanted to pray to his God. He wanted to pray to his God. Even though Nebuchadnezzar had taken over, this guy will not even change his mind. You know, the beliefs of other nations, the beliefs of other people will not even move. Daniel, why? The guy, guys, was like a steel. Ah, guys, guys, do you know a steel? A person, guys, who doesn't move. The wind blows. The stream rolls. Guys, everything happens and, and beats against that person but the person is still standing oh guys daniel the guy just stood there people started uh praying to these uh statues that these people decided to erect and pray to and pray to king darius but daniel would be like mm -mm, i ain't doing it and he couldn't, guys. He couldn't. I love Daniel. It shows the ship. Guys, you know by now, guys, because I've been reading a lot about these guys, even those of the Old Testament, guys, I'm able to see the character of a ship. You know, guys, a ship, if there's one thing you will learn about a ship, guys, a ship loves dirty so much. A ship, guys, loves dirty so much. They just cannot help it. A ship, guys, will want to obey him. Everything about a sheep, guys, is about obeying that man upstairs. You know, guys, a sheep, a sheep will want to please him and do his will. You know, guys, if there are things you need to know about a sheep, a sheep loves daddy so much, a sheep will want to do his will, the sheep will want to obey his commands. That's just the sheep, guys. You look at David, you look at Solomon, you understand? And I look at and I read their letters, you know, David and Solomon, and I'm like, damn, these guys are sheep. I can see a sheep in them because of the character. You know, you see the sameness with the disciples of Jesus, and you're like, damn. You know, guys, a sheep, a sheep, guys, which, guys, there's nothing they can do. It's just in them. You know, so Daniel, it was like that. Even though the nations were busy, left, right, and center, but this guy would just stand and say, mm -mm, 
I'm worshiping my Lord. Even if you kill me and take me to that lion's den, I'm not wavering. Hey, ah, guys, he didn't wa Ah, ah, guys, wh wh why can I get people like that? That Jeremiah, guys, that Daniel, that Joseph, that Abraham, guys. Ah, mm. Guys, those people, they make my head stand. Guys, it is it right now. I'm reading about Daniel. My head is standing and I'm like, damn, it's standing because this is a sheep. A sheep responds like that to the word of God. No matter how difficult. Guys, a sheep is ready to die. Let me tell you guys the character of a sheep. One, a sheep, guys, loves daddy so much. Love daddy so much that they can't even hide it. Their actions, guys, it, they don't love him by words. Their actions. Two, a sheep, guys, will die for him. They are ready to die any day, any time. They are ready to die for him. You, ah, ah, guys, if you, guys, if you're a sheep, you are ready to die for that man. Any time, right now. You know, a sheep, guys, cares about his will. Everything is about his will, doing his will, doing his will. That is a sheep, guys. I know, guys, I've been dealing with sheep. I know a sheep. Guys, a sheep obeys his commands like crazy because the sheep knows that without obeying his commands, they are doomed. It's over and done with them. So those four characteristics of a sheep, guys, you need to know. You'll find them also in these people, in the old covenant people, because the seed is a seed. Even though they were spiritually dead, the seed would just not allow itself to go to Satan. Ah, damn, guys. You know, so I'm um, done, guys. I just wanted to speak about the fact that, guys, you know, there are requirements to enter the kingdom of heaven, guys. Guys, there are requirements. You see, guys, there's one thing you need to know. If you claim to believe in the Bible, then you believe that there is heaven. Then if you believe that there is heaven, then your beliefs should be in line with what Jesus is saying. That is all we are saying because there are requirements. Guys, here, two people simply have sex and we spring up, we pop up. The, guys, there is not even interview. You just pop up because of two people. It's not even your decision. It's not even your choice. But guys, to enter that kingdom, to enter heaven, guys, I often hear people in funerals, you know, uh, deceiving one another, saying that they are going to heaven. She's going to heaven. She's going. Who? Who? Did that person obey Jesus after getting saved? Oh, no, I don't believe that by in salvation. I don't believe this person. This person is not in heaven. This person is not in heaven. The one who wrote the word says that. You are carrying the Bible, so you're telling me that you don't believe it. Guys, it's okay if you believe in your own thing. But if you are carrying the Bible, that's a whole different story. Guys, you see with me, I don't care about people's beliefs. I want you to know that. If you say, listen, I don't believe in Jesus, I don't care about Jesus, I'll shake your hand and I'll say I love you. Why? You're not deceiving anyone. I just hate a person who claims to be believing in Jesus and have different beliefs. So if you claim that you want to make it to the kingdom of heaven because you believe in jesus then you op you are going to obey his commands because it is kingdom it is blood it is laws simple meeting agent guys case close it is kingdom it is blood it is terms meaning it is laws so if you're not going to obey any of that you're not going to enter that kingdom you're not going to enter there simple guys and straightforward meeting agent case close so that's what we want to talk about guys that there are requirements to enter the kingdom of heaven. You don't just enter because you, you feel like it. There are no emotions there. Oh, I'm going to my mother. I'm going. Who? Did your mother obey Jesus after getting saved? Oh, she, she was never saved. Then she's not there. Oh, well, she was saved. Did she obey after getting saved? If she didn't, she's not there. So if you want to make it to that kingdom, you better get saved. After that, you obey his commands. Simple and straightforward, guys. No bit about the bush. Case closed, meeting agent. Simple as that, guys. In short, there are requirements to enter heaven. So if you are here among the people, among these nations, among other races, among other um, religion, I mean, because all races came from Adam, who came from Jesus, who came from God. But if you are among other religions and nations, and yet you believe that you will make it to the kingdom of heaven, you better obey his commands because there are requirements to enter his kingdom. There are, there are no requirements to enter your house, but there are requirements to enter his kingdom. Thank you.